first year coach never knows if they're fully ready until you actually get out there and start, but how ready do you feel for your first training camp here in Cincinnati? We're prepared. You know, we want the players to come in the building and feel like the coaches are ready to roll. And um, it's a continuation of the things we've installed already from the spring. But now we get a chance to put on the pads and really see what our identity is going to be like as we get ready for the season. What kind of tone, what kind of message do you want to give these guys as they hit the field for training camp? Well, we want our guys to be prepared every day they walk in the field so that they can play confident and play fast. I think those are, we don't want to bog them down with, with too much information just, just to put in plays because they're, they're good plays, we think. We want the players to own, have great ownership on offense, defense, and special teams. And, um, because that confidence really shows through in these great teams that really know what they're doing is because the players are confident and can play at a high level. So when you do get them in a room and you know I don't want to speak like I know everything, the inner workings of an NFL team, but I'm sure there's a moment, a meeting you have with them before you start. Is there anything you're thinking about saying to them so they understand that philosophy of what you want them to accomplish in training camp? Well, it's a long season. Yeah. Um, we, we truthfully, I know everybody says, take it one day at a time, but we have to focus on every player getting better every single day. Don't make the same mistake twice. Um, you know, Don't fear failure, just get after it, attack guys. And then we're gonna face adversity this year. Every team in the league does it. And so do we have the right culture in the locker room to overcome that adversity when it does hit us in the face? And, and I believe right now, just around the guys that we've got so far, I feel like we do have the right the guys in the locker room and guys we can lean on and that'll fight through that adversity and pull each other along. And so. I'm excited to see these guys report and get after it. This is different. First time as a head yep. coach. Are you nervous? Excited? What's the emotion you feel before you kind of really get into season this weekend? And I wouldn't say nervous. Very excited. I think all of our coaches are anxious to get these guys back and um, really just get ready for that first preseason game at Kansas City. I think that'll be a, a big moment for all of us. You know, we, we put a lot of work into it all off season and still got a little ways to go, but. I think we're all anxiously looking forward to that first preseason game so these guys get a chance to get on the field and show all the things they've been working towards. You mentioned adversity. You've already had adversity hit by losing your first round pick. When you look at this team as a whole talent level, do you feel like this team has what it takes in that department, talent, to get back to where they want to this year? I think if, if we can make the improvement we think we can make by the time the season rolls around, then. Uh, we have the right players in the building to do to do some really good things this year. So, um, you know, it's we, we got good players, and um, that's one of the reasons why I think all these coaches wanted to come here is because they knew that the right pieces are in place to, to do some special things. But the only way you can achieve that is if everybody's on the same page and everybody makes the same improvement every single day. And, and I think so far the players have shown that they're willing to do that. Is there a learning curve? that's allowed for a first year head coach or do you have to come in here with the expectation that you have to perform and you have to win in a bottom line business like you've been here for five or ten years? Yeah, we don't give ourselves a learning curve. I mean, we want to hit the ground running and um, we don't want people to see the difference between uh, our staff and any other staff in the league. So um, as we look at it, I don't know what the rest of the perception is, but as we look at it, there's no learning curve. We got to hit the ground ready to roll. Is that unfair? No, that's, hey, this is, this is not an easy business, and we chose to be in it for a reason, and um, so we're excited for that opportunity. But every other profession allows someone, okay, get your feet wet, get some time sure. in there. What makes football different, do you think? Uh, it's, you know, it's, um, I don't know what makes it different. I just know that our expectations are that, that we don't miss a step just because we're a new staff. You know, there's other new staffs out there that we're going to be competing against this year. There's some veteran staffs that have been together a long time, and so, um, we're not going to give ourselves any, any excuse to say that, well, we're new staff and we're, we're slow to go. That's, that's not a good reason at all. So. so we've been talking to players all off season long, and obviously a lot of questions are about you, new coaching staff, new energy, and that's the word we keep hearing from these guys is the yep. word energy. When you hear guys talk about that and they sense it and they feel it, is that invigorating to you that they are understanding this is different and you are bringing kind of a different energy to this building? Well, we just want our guys to look forward to walking in the building every single day. And I think so far through the spring, um, it, it, I've gotten the sense from the players that they do enjoy showing up to work and competing against each other in practice. And so we want that to carry over in a training camp and in the season because it's a long year and there, there are um, some teams I think that you can be a part of where, where the players are already dreading it before the first training camp practice gets underway. And so we don't want our guys feeling that at all. We want them to feel the excitement, the positivity, and excited to walk in the building, uh, ready to achieve greatness every single day. As much as this, this is new for you being a first year head coach, training camp isn't new for you being right. a member of an NFL staff. What do you like about training camp? 
Well, you're together all day, and so you grow tired of each other after a while, but the camaraderie, um, being around your, your coworkers and your players every single day is something that's really unmatched, you know, in any profession. And so um, that's what's exciting is, you know, there's, there's great energy right now, and we get a chance to be around each other and, and really, really get to know each other. And I think those are the things that are important, again, as we face the adversity that we talked about earlier. It's when you got that bond with your players and coaches and, and it's really a close-knit team, then you can get through that adversity and achieve the great things that, that we're setting out to do. The most successful people I know have a vision of what they see as success. Yep. What do you see as success year one as the head coach of the Bengals? Being prepared to hit this first game at Seattle um, with the confidence that we know that we can have. and. Um, that's really all that we can look forward to right now. That's it. Yeah, it's not I mean, playoffs. It's, it's just week one. Be no, ready. it's week one. Be ready for Seattle and put our best foot forward. That's a very football coach way of saying <laughs> yeah, things, isn't it? There's no other way I know to approach it. You know, if you start looking past that first game, then, um, you know, you're setting yourself up for failure. So uh, we'll have a tough task on our hand going up there to Seattle week one. I've been there a couple times. It's a tough place to play, but it's also an exciting place to play, you know, so we got to be prepared for that game. Uh, last thought would be you've had a little bit of time now around Mike Brown. And yes. This is our only time of year to talk to Mr. Brown about the season, the team, his career, that kind of thing. I've always said a lot of times in the city he's misunderstood because the guy's very passionate about winning, um, even though he's never won a playoff game here in Cincinnati. In your short time around him, have you noticed that? Have you noticed how much he wants to make this team a Yes, I, I can't speak for anybody else. I can only speak for myself and what I've been around. And um, he's a special person, and, he, and no one wants to win more than he does. You know, I, I see him daily, and the amount of time and effort he puts into making this thing a winner is uh, unsurpassed by anyone. And so, um, I really feel fortunate to get a chance to to glean off of his knowledge. And he's been around the game for so long, and so it's. It's really been special for me to be able to interact with him every single day and learn the things that he's been able to teach me and um, really enjoy being around it. And nobody wants to win more than he does. Uh, Zach, change was really a point of emphasis for this organization this offseason, not only with personnel, but really around the facility and just changing the look and feel and the tone. Why was that something that you wanted to kind of make sure happened before the season began? Well, we wanted things to feel fresh for the players. and. Um, not that it needed to be different than what gone on in the past, but we just wanted it to feel new. And so um, I think that we've achieved that. And again, you know, very thankful for the organization. You know, uh, again, talking about Mike Brown, that he's, he's invested the way that, that we've asked him to and, and allowed for these changes to happen. I think our players really appreciate it. And so, um, again, it just feels a little bit different for these guys. And when they walk in the building, we want them to be excited. And um, so far, we seem to have achieved that. Well, I think it's it's fun for the off-season program. It's fun for training camp as, as you're in the grind of it. Um, once the season rolls around, guys are locked in on these games, and, and it doesn't matter if there's a gray wall surrounding you or the orange and black. It's it's all the same at that point, but um, they are in here for a long off-season. They're in here for a long training camp, and so any little edge that we can give ourselves, we'll take it. With training camp beginning on Saturday, NFL celebrating its 100th uh, season, going to be starting up in Dayton. Just how important was it to be able to take a training camp practice up to the city of Dayton just to help with the celebration? Well, I, I think it's going to be a really neat experience for our players, not only because it's Dayton and it's you know just a, a 50 miles away from home, but um, to get a chance to learn a little bit about the history of the NFL and the first game that was played up in Dayton. And so myself just kind of studying the history these last couple of weeks, going back to the 1800s and um, learned a lot and hopefully our players can learn a little bit before we even go up there to that practice so they're educated on the history of the game and why we're going up there. And um, So I think it's going to be a really cool experience for, for players and coaches.